The minefield started um, like four years ago when Mark Ball came for the first time to Argentina and we had a conversation about the Malvinas Falklands War and how much we were interested in somehow work with this subject. And then in 2013 I was asked to participate in an event that was called After the War, which was a kind of anniversary of the First World War that happened in 2014 in the Battersea Arts Centre. And I was invited to create a project for this event and I did a first video installation with Argentine veterans of the Falklands War. When I presented this installation in Battersea Arts Centre, I started to think about what were the stories also of the British veterans because these video installations were basically reenactment of the Argentine veterans of their own memories of the war and then showing this piece here made me think about what what was the story of the British veterans and how they experienced the war and then we started a long process of convincing people uh, in Argentina and in England to help us to find and meet veterans from both sides, to interview them and then choose a group of six performers who were going to be the protagonists of this show. And this process was long and sometimes uh, crazy because of course you know like you have to convince people from the military world that you're doing something that is um, important and that it could be interesting for the forces too. It took me a long time to, to like finally get to the people I wanted and created a group. So we did workshops in Royal Co Theatre and other institutions in Argentina to try out ideas with the performers. And then finally they met in Argentina to rehearse for four months. And we had the opening in Brighton and then we came to Royal Court. And it was incredible, the reaction of the audience and the press and everything and suddenly everything made sense for everybody. <laughs>